They've served in Afghanistan, but could Australian troops survive in the outback for two weeks with no food or water? Soldiers training in the Northern Territory are learning how to live off the land. But as Bridget Brennan explains, they are getting some tips from the experts. Undivided attention for an army lesson with a difference. The country, OK? They're going to share some of their local knowledge with you. This bush classroom has been set up for members of the Top End's North Force Division, as well as men serving in the Navy and Air Force. They'll spend two weeks near Daly River, about 220 kilometres south of Darwin, in survival mode, hunting for food and having to find water. It's a survival course, but it's mainly teaching bushcraft. That's what we're teaching. Um, so it's important that you understand um, how it's done traditionally. Traditional owners from the local area are giving the men an insight into knowledge they've put into practice for generations. People feel happy that they're teaching them and maybe like having these people learn a little bit about our culture. Some of these men have served in Afghanistan, but catching and cooking a turtle is a whole new challenge. It's absolutely crazy because it's just second knowledge to them. They, all it is their knowledge, they know everything about it, um, so they don't have to think about it, whereas we've got to try and store it in our little memory banks. This course isn't just about bush survival skills, it's also a psychological test so that the soldiers are prepared for any unexpected situations. The group has to stay mentally tough when they're left for five days on their own without a watch or a compass. Yes, we have had some people in the past that haven't been able to cope psychologically, be it the uh, environment, be it the, uh, you know, the isolation. It's hoped they'll be able to take what they learn here to use anywhere in the world. Bridget Brennan, ABC News, Daily River.